Hello and welcome to a quick announcement and channel update for Analog Insights. Let's start with the announcement first. There is a great meetup opportunity coming up at the end of May, on May 26 to be more specific, and it will take place uh, at the summer festival of my trusted film lab, Mein Film Lab, which um, will take place in Hürtgenwald, which is close to Aachen and the entire Cologne and Düsseldorf area of Germany. So if you're somewhere in the vicinity around the end of May, um, it would be great if you would um, come around and meet at least me. Um, my friends Greg and Jules might be there as well. Um, they're still considering that. And it's not only a great meetup opportunity, but there will also be an exhibition of um, some really great analog photographers. Um, so some doing street photography, others doing fine art or film experiments and things like that. And um, my film lab was kind enough to ask me as well whether I would want to show some of my portrait work and I will do that. So. Um, you will get to see some of my work printed as well and um, there will be some short talks about each and every photographer's work as well. Um, so it's a great meetup opportunity if you want to get in touch with me or um, some other uh, analog photographers uh, just uh, come around on May 26 to Hürtgenwald. Um, it takes place between 10 and 5 um, p.m. on that day. Um, Another important thing I want to mention is the strategic direction of this channel. If you remember, it originally started with me as an analog photographer who's doing that on the side. By the way, I'm, I have a regular full-time job and I'm only doing analog photography, portrait photography on the side and this channel as well. And I started doing that because I wanted to share my own experience and um, help other people avoid the kind of mistakes that I did when I started out with analog photography. That was the initial rationale of this channel. And then it evolved over time to something, hey, why don't we bring along a camera whenever I do an interesting shoot? Or why don't we bring along our camera whenever we try to do something new like um, shoot with a specific camera or do landscape photography with a large format camera and things like that. And um, then it slowly evolved into this how about we do some gear reviews where we sometimes focus on portraits but also do other things like street shots. And based on all your feedback and things like that I could see okay it's interesting to grow that channel into more interesting directions as well. But at the same time, I realized that the channel right now is very much dependent on my own knowledge and my own limited capabilities. And I don't want that. <laughs> I want to break that up. And um, my idea is to turn the channel into a platform where I can host outside experts um, with their topic as well. So if you are an expert in landscape photography or if you are a great printer, it makes much more sense to bring you in and your expertise to the channel and have me host the episode basically and ask you some interview questions. But um, the focus will be on you and your work and your expertise and people will benefit from it much more than me trying to get into the printing process and understanding it and then after doing 15 prints trying to tell the audience of how to do proper prints because that doesn't make a lot of sense in my opinion. So my ambition here is to create a platform and a network of experts that I can occasionally bring in for certain individual episodes. So there will still be story behind the shoots, there will still be our gear reviews, but increasingly there will be formats where Greg, for instance, talks a little bit more about the books that um, do, does book reviews, or where we have uh, someone with a lot of expertise in printing talk about that, or someone doing a specific experimental style of analog photography or working with certain films and having a lot of experience with it, they might be able to bring something in as well. So I would kindly ask you if you are, if you would consider yourself an expert and are interested in being featured here um, in front of the camera as well um, on this channel, please reach out to me via Instagram or my website and just take me up and send me a message. Um, or if you know somebody who might be interested in it as well, you can also reach out to me and let me know about the person and I will contact them um, if I find it appropriate. Last but not least, I want to mention an important issue about this channel and that revolves around the female viewership of it. And in order to illustrate that, I've brought up uh, the channel statistics, which clearly show that we do have a 
strong male viewership <laughs> but a very weak female viewership and based on my own experience and the kind of feedback that I get I have a sense that mostly the models the female models that I'm featuring in my story behind the shoot episodes are watching the channel and my mother and my aunts <laughs> who are increasingly watching the channel because of Greg and um, keep writing and texting me sending me whatsapp messages whenever he's showing up in a video and basically telling me how good he looks and and things like that and because of course that is not the purpose of the channel <laughs> uh, and at the same time i have a sense that there are many great analog um, female photographers out there or digital female photographers who might have an interest in analog photography i would kindly ask you to take one minute of your time and think about the circle of friends and acquaintances that you have and s send out the link of this channel as a recommendation to one of the female photographers that you know and kindly ask them to check out the channel and if they're interested to subscribe to it. That would be uh, amazing if you could do that for me because I want to grow the female viewership of this channel. I have a really hard time seeing that statistic each and every time whenever I look into the back end of the YouTube channel here. So without further ado, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, um, the somewhat different update episode. If you did, please remember to like this video and maybe even share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Jules, Greg and I really appreciate it. And um, I'm really looking forward to your messages and your suggestions for outside experts, as well as to the new female viewers coming to the channel. I hope this works out. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.